Thank you, TX Wolverine 77 for the gift, uh, for the burn gift. I appreciate it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to this thing, the Sierra Cars 700 RX R R R S, whatever you want to call it. It's RX. It says on it. Regardless, welcome back to another video. Now, this is a car that you get for getting yourself in the series. This is basically the second series re rewards car. So, I ended up getting it. I, I was sweating it out, all the points and everything that I could possibly get this season, just so I could get it, and uh, yeah, I, I have it. Now, why was I excited to get this thing? Well, basically, I don't know if you guys have watched a few videos back, I ended up making a video of this car specifically, because you get to drive it kind of early. If you do the monthly rivals, which is this one right here, I drove it, and I said this has the potential to be like a meta car. Because of the way it drove, I felt like this was so good to drive, completely stock as well, uh, that it was it was so good to drive, it could technically be a meta car when it's out. It is D-Class 414, and it drives that well. What if you max it out in D-Class? What if you bring it over to C-Class or B-Class? Whatever. I want to try to see if that is possible for this car to be OP or meta or whatever, because I have so much faith in this car. That it is actually going to be very, very good. Now, this is all going to be for, like, rally races, dirt races, off-road races, whatever you want to call them. And that's it, right? I'm not saying that this is going to be good around, you know, like, on street races, you know, because it's just not. But basically, I want to try to see how uh, wh how well it would go. Grip-wise, this car was very, very good the last time we drove it. Um, so the only thing that I think it lacks is power. So what if I just give it more power, right? We'll start off with something simple, right? Just Just adding power to this thing. I think anything and everything that I could do to this car right now is going to add power to it. Can I try to add power without adding on too much weight, though? That is... That is a question. I mean, this jumps it all the way to C-Class already. It's hard. It's hard because it's a really, really lightweight car already. So, like I said, pretty much anything you do to this thing will immediately, like, hop it into the next class. That is, that is the only thing. Maybe give it more torque by boring out the engine. Could do that. I mean, I'm playing around with like four, five, ten horsepower. You know, like I'm not, I'm not doing anything super crazy here. Uh, but you know, like I said, anything that you add onto this thing will end up uh, jumping the horsepower up by by a lot. Okay, I think 61 horsepower, 72 newton meters of torque is probably the best that we can possibly get here in terms of like combo and stuff like that. I guess that's that's what we're working with here. 363 kilos. It's very very light. 61 horsepower. Okay, like I said, it's it's a good car. It was completely stock when we drove it the first time. What is what, why are these gear ratios? <laughs> why is everything so so long in this car? We don't need it to be. It's not gonna be able to do that speed anyway. It's still not able to do that speed. Like, <laughs> listen, I'm gonna have to adjust some stuff here. I want my gear ratios to be kind of short as well. I don't want them to be like really, really long because I don't think this. I mean, this like doesn't have the power for it, so I'm gonna have to adjust everything to, so it's nice and short. Anyway, I'll be right back. Let me let me just work on a little tune for this guy. Right, I've adjusted setup uh, quite nicely. Hopefully, it's uh, it's nice and soft, lifted and everything. Oh my god, it's so much quicker. Oh my god. Yeah, it is much much quicker than it was before. Yeah, the shorter gear ratios help out a lot. All right, so again, like I said, it's D-Class, so we can't really pick any crazy tracks for this thing, any crazy long ones. So I think Caldera Scramble is probably going to be the one that I'm going to be testing this thing out on because this is one of my favorite tracks to do, especially with slower cars. Because it's a nice, perfect, small loop. And you can go around over and over again. So the RZR1000, which I'm pretty sure someone has sent me, I'm like 58th in the world on this leaderboard, which is very good. And we can see all the little cars being very, very quick here. So I got 50 seconds on this leaderboard. Can I beat my personal best? Don't you want a song is in 19th place there. Can I beat my personal best that I got with that RZR, which is, I think, probably the best car on that track to use? Can I beat it in this thing? Can I do it? Let's, uh, let's find out. I wonder if maybe adding the turbo would have been a better idea. I mean, it gives it more power, but it adds more weight. I don't know. It's still rear-wheel drive this as well, so it's not all-wheel drive. Let's just do a, a few laps with it and see if I was right with this thing actually being good. 
Obviously, first lap is gonna be slower because I am going from a stunning start. Oh my god, that grip. What? <laughs> oh, it just didn't slow down. Bit of a struggle bus going uphill. Again, here, going with full power. I need to kind of be careful, though, if I do go with full power for some of these corners, because... Oh, man, I think I may even need more power. Grip-wise, it's good, though. It's so good. But I don't think I have the power to keep up with the RZR. I think the Polaris might take this one. I think I might need to change my tune slightly on this. Or whatever the upgrades on it. But look, it's, it's just pulling ahead. I didn't expect it to do that. Jesus. I didn't expect it to just dart into the corner like that. Okay, I, 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 think I, I think I need more power. I think I need to sacrifice some of the other parts that I put on this thing and then just give it more power. I think that, that is the way to build this car. I think grip-wise it's so good that I don't really have to worry about it at all. So that I can kind of keep my speed up here, but then the, the Polaris drives off on me. Like, it's not even close anymore. Like, it was kind of close, and then it just is pulling away. Well, I'm pulling away because I was even driving that thing. But you see what I mean? Like its its power is just so noticeable versus this. So many rocks in the way. Right. Okay. Cool. At least I know what to do now. I'm gonna add more power to it, even if it's like an extra like five horsepower. If I can add like an extra five horsepower while it's decreasing everything else, I think I could maybe keep up with the the Polaris. It looks so stupid. <laughs> All of that for like five extra horsepower. <laughs> I think C class might be the better shot for this guy. Honestly, because right now in D class it's not being the the Polaris. I don't know if it's just my tune, but it's the selection of mods that I have or whatever upgrades that I have on this car. It it just can't do it. It cannot do it. I can't give it more power because <laughs> it's struggling. Anything that I do to it just jumps it up into into C class so 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 easy. So I think I think that's probably where it belongs. So let's try C class instead and see if it's if it's capable of doing something there. All right. Well, there it is. We're now in C class. I've given it much more power. Um, almost almost thirty horsepower. Went up and waited a little bit because I added the turbo to it because I, I thought the turbo maybe would help it out a little bit. Um, with the with the power, but. Now I need to stretch my gears out slightly. Alright, what are we saying in C-Class? C-Class by the looks of things is still the RZR that's that's king. Uh, but, I had I do have time here. 49.9 isn't actually that much faster than my D-Class time. But this is someone else's tune. This isn't actually my 205, I don't think. Or I don't remember if it is mine or not. But I don't, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure I remember someone sending it to me and me trying it. So, that's the time that's on this, on this leaderboard. Um, can this thing beat it? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I definitely made it quicker. That's, that's gonna be 100% uh, certain. Okay, cool. Well, whatever. I didn't want to see that ghost anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's try it out. Longer gear ratios. Oh my god, this is way faster. Yeah, it's it's way faster. I was thinking to be fourth climbing this instead of fifth, like the last time. Uh, okay, well now it kind of has a tendency to try and slide a little bit because I gave it a little bit more power and it's still rear wheel drive. So if I can keep this thing nice and in check, So many rocks.
Oh my god. What a monster! Oh my god, what? Okay, a little sideways there, but oh my god. Look at the time differences, and that was a standing lap, or a standing start lap, or whatever. You wanna call it? What? The freak. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. I'm telling you, boys. I'm telling you, I'm onto something with this car. What's the PB saying? Come on. What's the PB? What's the PB? I smashed it. Completely smashed it. Almost one and a half seconds. Continue lapping. Let's do one more lap. What's the time saying? Jeez. That was the best corner I've ever done so far. I don't, know, I don't know what just came out of my mouth. That was the best corner I've done so far. No, I have ever done so far. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, where are you sliding, car? Come on. Be more composed, please. Very clean. Hit the flag this time. Yeah. What? 47.2! <laughs> I beat my personal best by like three seconds almost. What? <laughs> Jesus. That was mad. Damn. That was quick. Alright, let me have a look here. Let's see where I'm in the world with that time. Um, I'm gonna say top... I don't know, I jumped up by a lot, I think. I was gonna say something like top 200. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's more people in this event as well than in D-Class. 45th with it. And this is like with a little bit of a... a, a tiny bit of a tune, which is... The, it's the same tune that I've had. With the, uh... Oh my god, man. These guys are getting 45 seconds. 44 seconds at the very top of the leaderboard. The Teot Salika and the Ford Racing Puma. I don't know if these these two are legitimate. They seem very dodgy. This looks legitimate. 44.9. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to beat them. Them guys. But I don't even have to scroll down that far. I told you that this thing is going to be good. I told you. I told you. Let's select this guy and see how, how much faster he is. I mean, he is much faster, though. 2.2 seconds faster. Surely he's doing something better, you know? Uh, but again, a little tune that I slapped up together in about fucking two minutes. Just something easy to, to kind of drive. I mean, it's mostly just the diff and the transmission. That's it. I just kind of shortened the transmission and now I kind of use the exact same ratios or similar ratios and I just lengthened my my gears and that's it for my final drive Forty-six. That's kind of what I wanted, to be honest. Right now, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> what? I'm done. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't hit anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> What's that? 
I think that first corner really well, and then I just, <laughs> I just get flagged. What? Cancel that. We're, we're out of there. We're out of there. I've done enough of that. All right. <laughs> just didn't expect that. I didn't expect for me to just like get my thing cancelled. Man, C class in this thing is sick. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Let's have a look at where I'm. Uh, finally in the world on this event in C-Class. I told you, boys. I told you. C-Class is the class for this thing. Is it OP? Is it like the Reserve? Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone else's tune. Could be. But, I mean, I'm 35th out of 80,000 people on this leaderboard. So, I feel like that's not bad. Um, again, versus the people at the very top here that are doing like 44 and, and all that. Maybe Manual Clutch could help me out a little bit here. I really change gears too much in this guy, though, to be honest with you. Um, can I drive better? I think so. I, I mean, I can drive better, I think, and I can get a faster time than that. Um, can I do, like, an extra, what, two seconds? No, I don't think so. Not with this tune, anyway. Maybe it needs a different, uh, mixture of upgraded, or up, power up, yeah, power upgradable parts, uh, if that makes sense, so, uh, different, different, different parts of this thing. Like, I went for the turbo route with it, and, I mean, it's good. What is that disgusting animation for changing gears with this thing, by the way? What the... What am I looking at? Anyway. Um, yeah. I really like this thing. And I was right. I was right that this is actually going to be a goaded car for... For off-road racing. I, I, I'm so happy that I was right as well. I wonder what's wrong with the actual servers themselves at the moment. I feel like they're being a bit... Oh. Questionable. I wanted to go and bring this thing on the Horizon Badger Scramble as well. I want to try to do a run here. Let's see. If I can do anything. Alright. 125. Oh, 120.5. Not too bad. Alright, 120.1, we leave it there, uh, with this thing. Um, could use a bit more power. Yeah, but I can't do that, can I? Because, I mean, again, I've added a bunch of unnecessary parts to it anyway, to kind of, uh, be able to add more power to it. But, that's not bad. That's not bad. Right, let's see where I am in the world with it, and I'll leave it there for now. I think I'm going to be a little bit lower on the leaderboards on this one, just because of the fact that it's a longer circuit. So the other uh, car, the, 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 whatchamacallit, the uh, RZR, is, uh, is going to have a chance to be a bit quicker than I am for a bit of a longer period. As I'm scrolling through this, I'm already realizing what score I got, and I'm 85th. Out of 107,000 people. Damn. Yeah, I'm telling you guys. Like, don't sleep on this car. It's it's good. It is very, very good. Try it out yourselves. Let me know what you think of it. Try different builds for it as well. I think it could be kind of fun. Um, if you have anything interesting to send me, definitely send it over on Discord. Any crazy tunes, uh, even for this car. And I'm down to try them out. Obviously, don't give me the exact same tune that I just made for B-Class or, or D-Class. But, uh, yeah. Try and be original and try and do something, uh, or whatever, whatever it was, C class or D class, not B class. But 
yeah, try to be original with it. Try to see if you can come up with anything interesting. But for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.